Hi, Hi everybody. Late night special. <laughs> okay, this is the late night special brought to you from Proud Fertility. I'm Nathan Chan, the managing director of Proud Fertility, which is a surrogacy and egg donation consultancy agency in Canada. And I'm here with Julia. And Julia is from? I'm from Pretty Aggressive Industries. I run a multi-tier company. Um, I do personal training, I do nutrition coaching, and I also do resiliency life coaching. I'm also a published author uh, for a book called Beyond Damage, which is available on Amazon. And I'm also a 35-week pregnant, proud fertility Make surrogate. Make sure you let's stand up and show off our bellies. <laughs> I'm so, and you said 35 weeks, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. So 35 weeks, and um, I really would love to just get right into it. Like someone like yourself, why would you become a surrogate? What, what made you choose to become a surrogate? It was, it was actually a very long, complicated journey um, through my own self spiritually. So I was actually looking to have more of a family for myself and expand my family. Um, I'm separated. I currently have a six, uh, six year old daughter. And at the time I was struggling with ovarian cyst ruptures. And the interesting thing is the only um, treatment for that is either to continue trying to get pregnant, which lowers your ovarian cyst rupture likelihood by 65 to 35%, or to be on contraceptive. And I really enjoy pregnancy. I'm someone who does it well, I enjoy it, I like doing it. Okay. And so becoming pregnant again, my first idea was to become pregnant for myself, to just have another child of my own. And I was looking to expand my family, so I actually found Proud Fertility oh. online. Actually, you were one of the first that came up. And when I looked at your services in the drop-down menu, I forgot surrogacy was a thing. Wait a minute, she forgot surrogacy existed. I, for I didn't, I forgot. Um, the thing is, it's a, so let me get that straight. You had, you, in order to be better, you actually need to be pregnant. That's right. That's the thing I remembered about. Yeah. yeah. So it was actually a like a medical treatment for me for what I was going through. That's the most bizarre reason. <laughs> I, know, I know. So if you need fertility treatment yeah. to save yourself, yeah. please so, come become a surrogate. Yeah. Potentially. Um, it's actually a treatment for ovarian cyst ruptures. And it's amazing. Yeah. So becoming pregnant was something that was a good option for me because I enjoyed it so much and I wanted to do it again and I wasn't finding. A partner to have a family with I was gonna have one just for myself but when I saw surrogacy in the drop-down menu something that was really important for me that's a lifestyle um, kind of like goal and value of mine is to give before I ask the universe for myself so my as soon as I saw surrogacy it really only took me like five minutes of reading to be like that is for me that is something that is so powerfully I'm drawn to to help someone else expand their family mm -hmm. before thinking that I should be like have the privilege of expanding mine when I could do it so easily I wanted to give to someone else who had trouble expanding mm -hmm. their family thank you for articulating that so I just want to say um, <laughs> you are really giving this blessing to somebody <laughs> A lot of people tell me that. People love to tell I mean, like, me. Look at this. I think everybody <laughs> in the viewers are saying you're giving such a gift and a blessing to someone. Like, do you guys agree in the comments? Well, this and this is so funny. People are like, wow, that's such a gift to give. Honestly, I feel like I'm getting a gift. I feel like this whole experience has been an incredible gift of a journey for me. I feel empowered. I feel privileged. I feel honored. And all of this is coming from... A place where people think it's so selfless to be a surrogate and I honestly feel like I'm having a very selfish experience um, I feel like I'm getting to enjoy pregnancy I'm getting to give to someone else and fulfilling their dreams mm -hmm. like it's like being mother frickin Teresa you know like I and I'm enjoying so many of the benefits from being a surrogate just in my lifestyle goals and accomplishments and and to fill my heart, fill my mm -hmm. own heart. So you did. Re you were telling me earlier that you did reach this point that you no longer felt like you wanted to have another child, and then therefore, this is like neither substitute way. Yes. This okay. Is. So like, tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> so I, I would love to be able. I at some point was like I could have more children for myself, 
but um, you know, that's a more than an 18 year commitment. That's a lifetime commitment. And so being able to um, allow someone else the privilege when I already have my own child, like I'm, I'm good, my family's set, and I'm helping someone else create their family unit. And I'm, I'm good, I'm good where I'm at. <laughs> You're creating a unit. Is there a family that's been somewhat expanded in yours or yeah actually so that was one thing is i came into the experience wanting like to go for fertility for myself to mm -hmm. see proud fertility as a place for me to get sperm donation for myself but what i realized in instead of expanding my own family with one child for myself and my daughter for a sibling i'm now expanding my family in a global way because the relationship that i've personally formed with the intended parents has become a global family for all of us. A global family. Yeah, and like that that was very specific to my journey. Like I mm -hmm. created a profile um, with my very genuine intentions that I wanted to do that, and that's not for every surrogate, you know, and not for every intended parent. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that I showed up in the journey with very clear intentions on what I wanted out of this journey is what manifested bringing in um, a larger family, which is what I wanted in and the it, first place. It took you some time. Like, did you did you see more than one profile? Or I did. Okay. I did. So it, it was one. Of, it's one of the greatest things about proud fertility that I really liked. Okay. Not scripted. Thank you. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it really is because um, I was I was able to make a profile about myself and mm -hmm. about what I was looking for in the journey, mm -hmm. and then look through other. Pro it was almost like surrogate intended parent dating. And it I, is dating. Yeah, I really liked that process. <laughs> Um, to be able to look at other intended parents profiles and see what they wanted to come forward with like what journey they were envisioning for themselves and then we could actually match genuine interests and like there's such honesty and rawness in those profiles mm -hmm. that being able to choose someone you mesh with well was really easy and I think that's something that you're um, you're that, value, really. Yeah, that that's proper, what we want. Yeah, yeah that proper fertility does is you guys are able to match people who have the same intended outcome of the journey, mm -hmm. which is so important. So you said, okay, so let's move on because I think this yeah. is really <laughs> warm and fuzzy and so far like there's These unicorns like, coming out. <laughs> yes. Tell like, us, like, if you can name one or two, even one, what is one of the hardest parts about this journey? What are the challenges that you've had? Oh, the amount of... Ignorance from the public. <laughs> like, okay, ignorance from the public affects someone like you? I know, it's tough. It really gets in my freaking way. Um, <laughs> so a lot of people's um, lack of knowledge and discomfort with the topic of surrogacy and like the process of surrogacy is very interesting. It sparks a lot of projected fears from people, okay. which is super funny. It's what I coach people to not have anymore. <laughs> and coach pe other people how to like not take on from other people. So one of the most interesting things that people say to me is, or ask is, how are you going to feel when the parents take the baby? And I have to seriously, just, yeah. Just, in four no, or five no, more weeks. No, I want it. No. <laughs> um, Give it back to me. This is the thing is I came into this knowing what I was creating for someone else. I did it on purpose so that someone else was getting what I was making and they're not taking the baby. I'm giving it to them. And that was the whole point. So like when some when a home builder gets commissioned to build a house, they don't build the house and fall in love with it so much that they decide to keep it themselves. You you build it in the intention and the dream of the people who have approached you and been like, "Will you make this for me?" And you volunteer to create a gift for someone. And that's, that's how that goes. And no one's taking anything from me. <laughs> so do you actually like stop and then tell people this is what you do? Or do you just kind of like, how did you tune them out? Or did you educate them? Um, there's, there's some times where I wanted to take the stance of educating people. That was my first, my first uh, approach was to be like, okay, listen, like your ideas of what's going on here is not correct. And so I wanted people to be educated. I want people to be knowledgeable about what the surrogacy journey is for and what it's about and what it's doing for other people. Mm -hmm. And, um, but also there are some days where I'm like, listen, be like, <laughs> just 
like back off like I don't have time for you like not only am I running my own business and have a kid and like have my own life and like and I'm also pregnant I'm just gonna like exit out of this conversation and be like you can take your ignorance somewhere else and you just can't really be an ambassador for what you're doing in your life 24 hours a day and I think that's an important yeah. thing but there are some people that genuinely are open-minded and they want to hear what you have to say and those are the yeah. right kinds of people that um help you grow as a, as a person too in this journey. Well, and, and spreads, spreads the knowledge and understanding also the compassion and the empathy and the challenge is not hardship. And just because it's difficult doesn't mean it's not worth it. And I, I really like to promote that, like set an example for that in my life and my business and my work and also through the surrogacy. That. So we'll definitely check back in with you at some point in time. <laughs> um, I know that if, when, what not if, but when it pops out in five weeks. It doesn't just like pop out, okay? That's not how that works. <laughs> when, it, when it makes its way to our universe, <laughs> we're going to check back with you when the baby is given, yes, not given. taken. Given. And I think that's a little bit important that we talk about the way that we describe the words used is yeah. so important because it it diminishes that empowerment that women can have when they yeah. become surrogates. I think that's a really key point from today's interview. Last thing, are you ever going to do it again to feel that empowerment again to be a surrogate? Well, I think that some women um, choose surrogacy as an experience they wish to have, like an accomplishment or something that like a, a journey in part of their life mm -hmm. that they like to go through. And then there's some women who like to choose surrogacy as like a continued lifestyle practice that they have in their lives. Mm -hmm. And for me personally, I'm okay with this one, like being the last, the last pregnancy I have. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of factors to it. It's so personal. And for me, I've got like a hundred other things I'm trying to do with my life. So, um, I think for surrogacy, I think this has fulfilled me spiritually so well. Okay. And it's like, I think a lot of people make the mistake that when you say like, I'm not gonna do surrogacy again, or I wouldn't repeat it, so they think that they had a bad or negative experience, and that's absolutely not true. I've really fulfilled this section or mm -hmm. part of my pie of my life with this. Yes. And also, surrogacy isn't something that you ever stop. I mean, it's always a part of your life. Oh, yes, right? absolutely. So when people are like, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna get pregnant. I'm getting like yeah. goosebumps. I don't know why here. <laughs> goosebumps are usually here, right? So even if you choose to not do surrogacy repeatedly it's you are a proud surrogate forever that's right that's right absolutely so i'm going to be a surrogate forever even if i don't choose to gift another child to another family and that's just i think i think that's just how my journey has unfolded for mm -hmm. me absolutely and just to re-articulate to our viewers at least at proud fertility um i called i, I named my company proud fertility uh because when you begin this journey, whether you are an egg donor or a surrogate or an intended parent, you're proud from day one. And it doesn't even necessarily mean only when you give the baby to That's somebody. Right. It's also from the day one. You may not actually um, give birth or you may not actually, um, actually receive a baby or ever. But I started this company when I didn't even have my child through surrogacy mm -hmm. and I was very, very proud. It took me a long time to get to that pride, that element of pride. So thank you for sharing with that with us. And um, I suppose, would you recommend it? That's the I last thing. I as well, specifically, I would recommend Proud Fertility. That's the thing. Again, not scripted, thank you. <laughs> Um, my, my journey with your company, like, and I, and I'm promising this is not scripted. My journey with your company has been so supported that your company in general is set up to keep the surrogates connected, to have lots of support resources for them. You've connected me with other surrogates when I've had questions and challenges and you personally have such a, um, personal hands-on um, approach with the clients, both donors and intended parents and surrogates. Okay. And it's something I've really appreciated through the whole thing. Okay. And I've always felt taken care of by the company. Oh, thanks. And so that's meant a lot to me. Okay. So I would absolutely recommend surrogacy to people who are ready and looking to fulfill that, that accomplishment or that part of their life or enjoy that again for themselves. Mm -hmm. I would specifically recommend your company just that's because good. of the journey I've had. And then just like you mentioned, no matter what part of the journey you get to or go through or accomplish, it is something that's extremely empowering because of what I've learned. Just about myself and about life and about relationships and about 
um, you know, challenges and just everything spiritually, I've been through such a journey myself, regardless of what, like where it's gone with who I've connected with and the intended parents, that just going through this process has been something that's taught me so much. Thank you so much. So, so you recommend proper fertility. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I do hope that if you're watching that you would consider being a surrogate or an intended parent um, with any agency, really, because um, whatever you choose to do or whoever you want to work with or independently, it's honestly it, what you're doing um, is making someone like myself being a parent and that's what I am here for. And I so, I'm so thankful that you were able to share with us your stories and, and how empowering this journey has been for you. Thank so you. please check out Julia at pretty aggressive underscore official on Instagram or pretty aggressive on Facebook and also matriarch motivation podcast on spotify and i also have a pretty aggressive youtube channel mm -hmm. so you can find me just about everywhere <laughs> thank you so much and for our viewers if you are not necessarily a surrogate or even a person that is soon going to be or in postpartum i mean she's got a lot of tips for um postpartum kind of like Ab recovery and health Abs getting it back or absolutely what's that <laughs> um so any anyone looking for postpartum nutrition coaching or personal training or even resiliency life coaching um, because of this is my second pregnancy and because of what I've been through if you're looking to either get back into shape or lose those pounds after pregnancy or just get your life back on track that is what I do as a certified transformation specialist I'm gonna get you one more shot before the baby <laughs> makes its way not pops it out right let's see the baby <laughs> are you having are you able to share is it is it a boy or is it a girl or it is a girl Ooh. yes there's been no kicks this evening at all are you kidding i just don't tell you about them because it's why like... you tell me i wouldn't <laughs> want to... that's for another conversation like having a dance party in my tummy this whole time <laughs> hey good night and thank you so much oh thanks for all the shout outs good night everyone good night bye bye, -bye.